Well, he just finished his 10th season in the NBA and had a pretty good year, averaging 21 points a game. And this year, he joined LeBron James, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook as the only player with at least 10,000 career points, 4,000 career assists, and 1,000 career steals since entering the NBA in 2007-2008. Former Ohio State Buckeye and current Memphis Grizzlies point guard Mike Conley Jr. is here this morning. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So Columbus is not new to you because right. you were here with us with, at Ohio State. But welcome back and thanks for being here with us today. Yeah, thank you. And you were recently inducted into the 2017 Ohio State Athletics Hall of Fame. So what does that honor mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. You know, I, I didn't expect it to happen so soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I Maybe I'm dating myself now. I always thought it happened like 10 years after you're out of the, the college, and I've been out 10 years wow, now. Wow, so, yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of scary, but you know, it's it's a it's a great accomplishment. You know, there's a lot of great names, a lot of great inductees this year. So, uh, just an honor. Yeah, congratulations. And so I know that you were under Thad Mata when mm -hmm. you played. Now, have you met the new basketball coach, Chris Holtman? I've only spoke to him on the phone. Okay. Um, I've been out of town the last few weeks, so I haven't mm. been able to, to meet up with him, but really looking forward to it. And um, I hear he's a great guy, great coach, and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll pick up the program and, uh, and keep us, uh, you know, going in the right direction. Do you keep up with the Ohio State basketball program at all? Or do you still talk to anybody you played with or any of the newer players? Yeah, I, I keep in contact with all the guys, yeah. especially the guys from my, from my group, my team. Mm -hmm. um, the guys, even afterwards, I still see them all the time at the university. We work out together um, every summer. So, I mean, we, we definitely, uh, you know, hang out, work out, do all those things every year. Now, we mentioned that you just finished your 10th season mm -hmm. in the NBA and had a great season. So, congratulations on that. Thank you. So, how do you think, like, has the NBA changed and evolved since you first started? Well, I think it's a faster game now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're... A lot of a lot of big guys aren't necessarily in the post anymore. They're all shooting threes. The spacing's different. Mm -hmm. um, the teams I feel like are getting better and better. There's so much talent. Uh, the the game is at, at at a high point right now, um, and you know it's just a fun fun league to be a part of right now. Everybody's so competitive. It's a it's a it's a fun environment. You're traveling. You're you're competing at the highest level, and um, you know you can do what you love to do. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on like how it's kind of become a lot about like the Cavs, of course here in Ohio, mm -hmm. and the Warriors? Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, you know, they, they definitely set their teams up, you know, to, to have the star power to, mm -hmm. you know, try to get back to the finals and play each other. So uh, other teams I think are going to follow suit. You see this summer there's a lot of guys moving around, a lot of guys, mm -hmm. you know, joining up. So um, we're going to see a lot more of that, I think. And uh, it, it's the only way to stay relevant, only way to stay uh, competitive in the league. And you've been dedicated because you've been with Memphis for the entire 10 years you've been in the league, so that's fantastic. Yeah, loyalty, man. I love it down there. Uh -huh. It's a great, great city, uh, great people, so I really enjoy it. So how do you stay healthy in the off season? You brought some stuff here to show us today. Yeah, um, first and foremost, uh, the H2 uh, is first hydrogen water here, you know, uh, selling in, in America. And uh, that's something I take, you know, morning and night uh, oh, really? to really help with. Um, lactic acid, it's a lot of running, all the soreness mm -hmm. that comes with that and, um, and the endurance part of it too. It helps with my endurance, helps me stay strong and fast and, 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 and with all that happening it, it limits in injuries and that's a big key for us is not to get injured and, and try to get back in, you know, in tip top shape as quickly as possible. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a huge one there. Um, I, I love these protein bars. These are Gatorade protein bars which mm -hmm. I eat um, I'll probably eat like three a day. You really? Know, just because I'm <laughs> okay. always on the I'm always on the move, so I'm always just you know Huge. moving around and uh, yeah, it's good. It's got 20 grams of protein. You know you got to stay stay uh, you know getting all the protein. My personal trainer is always on me about <laughs> getting protein and uh, and then what's this one out here? This one right here is uh, omega three uh, fish oil basically. Which, okay. Um, I don't eat fish very much, mm -hmm. but this is a good good way for me to get all the ingredients that I need from fish. Um, and, you know, for me, that's, that's huge in, in, in helping me recover and, and, and keeping my body healthy. Nice. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. Right. Those are the secrets of how Mike Conley stays fit in the off season. So if I eat this, am I going to be like strong like you? Probably. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten a lot of these. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much. And coming up, we check back in with Andrew Buck Michael. He's at Moffray Stadium ahead of tonight's international friendly. That's ahead in about three minutes. We'll be right back.